Third down and goal to go for Ohio. Back to pass Tettleton. Looks left the whole way. Throws left corner. Brazil leaps and he made the catch. Touchdown, Ohio. Number four to number seven. Like Grant said, the combination is money in the bank. Let me expand. The first example, the game at Rutgers. Brazil hauled in three grabs for 65 yards, including a ridiculous one-handed catch for a TD and a nearly impossible conversion on third and 25. The following week, Tettleton was four for five when it counted to Brazil, one of those that patented touchdown pass to the back corner of the end zone. Then against Ball State, a 74-yard hookup led to a Bobcats touchdown. Back to pass Tyler, throws it over the middle. One-handed in by Levon Brazil at the 45. State through tackles, he's going to score a touchdown. Near sideline, 10-5-6 for the Cats. Oh, baby, what a big-time catch and run. And a 20-yard reception in the fourth quarter vaulted Brazil into the record books. When the down marker flips to three and the stage becomes bigger, so does the normally undersized five foot eleven inch receiver. Third down, that's the money. That's money down, man. You need to uh, trying to stay on the field, and make more plays. So uh, I just run run my route and just uh, get ready to catch the ball when it comes to me. Levon's, uh, you know, always in the, in the back of my head. You know, he's gonna make that play, and um, you know, he's done it um, game in and game out. So all those fellas throw it up. So. The numbers on the year. 15 completions on 24 targets, that's almost 63% for 285 yards, and four of Brazil's eight touchdowns have come on third down. They're not cheapies either. No five-yard slant routes, no. Lavon's averaging 19 yards per catch on third down, and only four of his 15 catches have been for less than 10 yards. So Bobcat fans, if you begin to bite your nails on third down, remember this simple math formula. Four, plus seven equals dollar sign.